Yeah, that is one of the big uh, issues that has been raised. But yeah, so the animals that we're talking about are small animals like rabbits, uh, like guinea pigs. This is Hallie Parker. Uh, the San Diego Humane Society did a big send off uh, for these animals back in August. And we have video of that. Go ahead and take a look. So this was the largest transport of animals in the San Diego Humane Society's history, uh, mass transport that is. Uh, the team here loading up several crates of hamsters, rats, rabbits, and guinea pigs bright and early back on August 7th uh, to take Take them on their journey to Tucson, Arizona. So there were 318 total. And the reason they did this is because the shelter here is way over capacity, about 175% for dogs and cats. So the goal was let the Humane Society of Southern Arizona adopt out these pets, let them work with their rescue partners to adopt them out. And so the Humane Society there said it transferred 250 of the animals to a private rescue organization that adopted them out in a relatively short period of time. Now, concerned animal lovers started questioning such a quick turnaround. They have also asked why were there no listings to adopt them out online? The CEO of the San Diego Humane Society started asking questions too and it's gotten to the point now that they're exploring legal options to get that information. So I just spoke to Nina Thompson with the San Diego Humane Society and here's what she told me. The fact that they went to one single rescue is what's troubling and concerning to us because um, we have never heard of a single rescue being able to adopt out so many small pets in such a short period of time. We're not able to do it here at San Diego Humane Society, and we're a rather large facility. And this is uh, Hallie Parker, by the way, who still needs a home. Now, uh, Thompson says that they've actually offered to drive back to Tucson to pick up the remaining 67 animals that are at the Humane Society there, bring them back to San Diego. She says they've also offered uh, to pick up the remaining animals that may still be at that rescue group and bring them back here as well. I mean, that is the big question. No one knows who that rescue group is. It's supposedly a, a family-run small uh, rescue group, but the CEO of the Humane Society in Arizona hasn't given that information yet, even to San Diego, on who they are or exactly what happened uh, to those 250 animals. We'll send it back to you.